Welcome back to the shop. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I am reviewing another airplane. And uh, again, I don't do reviews very often. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have the opportunity to do this one, mostly because this is a scale airplane. The Sea Wind was a full scale airplane, and <laughs> it's one of those unusual civilian airplanes that's amphibious. It's sort of like the Icon A5 before the Icon A5. Uh, at least that's sort of how I see it. Um, but the Sea Wind has been around a long time, and the the c1 was actually previously released but it was just re-released under the tower hobbies branding it's all the same stuff um it's just it's back and that's great news because this is an awesome flying airplane super smooth you can really practice your smooth cruising kinds of maneuvers so it's not really a good throw in the back of your car kind of airplane. Um, it doesn't, I won't say it's impossible. It's not entirely convenient to pull apart. Um, the, the flaps are on a bell crank system with a central, um, a central servo and they're push, there's a push rod. And with that push rod, you have to loosen it and then reattach it. And it's kind of buried in here quite a ways. It's like all the way. So you got to take both of the seats out, which is not a big deal. They just pull right out with magnets, but you got to get a screwdriver in there. And then after that, you've got to uh, turn these little plastic switcheroo things and then pull it out and then disconnect the servos as well. And then you got to fish around the servos with the receiver and then reposition the receiver. It's kind of a deal uh, to take the wings on and off. So unless you're going on a really long trip and you need the less awkward space taken up in your trailer or the back of your car, I would try to transport this one to and from the field assembled as is. I know it's awkward as is, but there you have it. Uh, I think that may be one of the only downsides about this airplane, but it's a really good size and it flies amazing for its size and it has retracts and in addition to the retracts it's got shock absorbing stuff so it soaks up some of the bumps which i have on my field i just i love this airplane because it's it's different enough to be obscure and people to question whether or not it's real and being able to have the conversation with people that it is a real flying airplane and this is a scaled down model. It also lends itself to different paint schemes. You can peel the stickers off. Uh, you can pull the paint off with some masking tape. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna try because <laughs> I wanna try to fly it with the paint as is for now. But if I get bored with it down the road, I can shoot some paint on this nice, smooth foam. It's really a nice, nice model. Now, let's talk about uh, battery. The battery is a 2200 three cell. I flew off of a brand new pack, uh, freshly charged and solid seven minutes of flight time, just dorking around doing stuff. And it came down at a storage charge. So I had, I had room to spare. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, everybody's got a three cell 2200. It's a staple of the hobby. If you don't have one, I'm kind of shocked, uh, but yeah, it's it's something to just throw in the airplane. It's got comes with an EC3 connector, which is fine. If you don't use an EC3, you can easily fit an adapter in here. It's not a problem. Um, I will note uh, that there's a, a there's a push rod for the retract mechanism in the nose that came loose on my really 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 rough hard frozen. <laughs> um, uh, runway that I just was able to fix with uh, a piece of Dubro hardware, just a, a push rod connector, just tightened a screw onto it, fastened down really, really tight. Hasn't come loose since. So those are my thoughts. Um, really easy to assemble. I put this together in less than an hour. Uh, the Everything just sort of fits together. The whole fuselage comes out of the box and you just put on the horizontal stabilizer, which is easy. 
the vertical fin extension just slides on and off, literally just slides right on. So it's not even a big deal. Um, yeah, and, and all you have to do, pretty much the vast majority of the time was programming the throws for the airplane. So not a huge deal. You can easily 1C charge your pack while you build the airplane at the field if you wanted to. Really that simple. Uh, yeah, no big mystery of the universe. All the screws were really well labeled and easy to deal with. And uh, enough of me yammering. Let's get to some flying. Right, Tape is rolling. You're right over my head. Perfect.
It's an airplane. It still flies. Yeah, I had a little incident on taxi testing with the linkage on the nose gear, so I'll fix that right up. This is just a little retainer that came off because we've got a ridiculous feel that a tractor's run over, and yeah, not, any, not anyone's fault other than the field. <laughs> anyway, back to the shop. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Sea Wind. It's uh, it's on sale at Tower Hobbies, uh, Horizon as well. Probably sure you can pick one up there, but it's uh, it's a great flying airplane. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to own one, this is your time to pick up one. Now's a great time right before the holidays. If you have a place to float fly, it's a perfect option. You don't even have to modify anything. Everything is very well sealed, so you don't have to worry too much. It's foam, for crying out loud. You don't have to worry too much about water ingress. It's got lights, so you can fly at golden hour. It's, It's got all the things. This is a great model. Stop by Tower Hobby and pick up one today. And if you want to, keep working on it as a flying work of art.